Hey everyone. So in the latest GFI app manager release, which happened on 8th of June, 2024, we added several new features into the product. Let me walk you through one of those. So if you go into your specific account and choose a carrier control of your, of your choice, and within the carrier control interface and in the status and active connections, you'll be able to find uh, all the conversations or active connections which are available or currently running in your network. After going to select one, so let's select, for example, this one with the uh, IP address 20300113 and one. And if you're going to scroll down, then you can see two new buttons. Previously, there was only kill connections. Now we added add to IP address group and add to traffic rule. For both of these buttons, you can again verify what is the source IP address and what is the destination IP address. If you're going to click on the button, then you will go immediately into this dialog where you can choose the source and the destination. So again, the source is this IP address, which we can see on the left side, which is 10.10.10.53. .10 .10 the destination IP address is the 203.0.113 and one. So if I'm going to click on destination, I'm selecting this IP address. The second step is to select the firewall rule to which you want to add this IP address. This gives an administrator a unique option to instead of kill the connection, which happens right now, to instantly add the IP address into the firewall rule, which can kill or prevent the connection in the future. So let's test that. Let's put it into new rule one, save. And if we are going to go into the traffic rules, and find the new rule one, then we can see that in the destination, the IP address 203, 0, 113, and one is present. The second part of the same feature which has been added is to add an IP address into a specific IP address group. So let's now select a different conversation. For example, this one, with an IP address 104, 21, 56, 192. So in this case, if I'm going to click on add to IP address groups, I'll again have the source and the destination, which is exactly the same drill as we've discussed previously. The source will be the source IP address, in my case, internal IP. The destination will be, in my case, the 104, 21, 56, 192, which is the external IP address. So I'll choose the destination and in the dropdown, I'll be able to choose to which IP address group I'm going to add it. So for the test purposes, let's add it into just now and just click save. So let's now find this IP address in the definitions IP address groups. So let's go into just now. Which is over here and it's directly the first IP address in the list. As you can also see, the IP address will be added that it's enabled through active connections. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more features.